Okay, welcome to the uh, presentation of the Yoma 68 A20 CPU card and the new micro desktop uh, board uh, which will be available in the upcoming crowdfunding campaign very shortly. As you can see, this is a prototype. <laughs> um, I've had to uh, reconnect uh, the VGA um, because I got it the wrong way round. Um, that's been corrected and there is um, the USB on here was um, also inverted on the second one. The first one is fine, the second one I got wrong. That's an easy fix which will be ready for the um, ready for the crowdfunding campaign. Um, here you can see the uh, USB serial connection which I'm using to do console access on here. Now the original said on this uh, first CPU card, um, the uh, the earlier ones, we had to route this micro SD card to the, to SDMMC number three, which you can't boot from directly. Um, A20 processors are described as unbrickable. Um, in the in this one, however, with a micro desktop board, we've got on what is MMC zero. A, a second micro SD slot here, um, which is connected to MMC0, so you can boot directly from it. Uh, so uh, we'll be able to supply um, SD cards with the operating system of your choice pre installed, and you just put it in and go. Um, so that's absolutely fantastic. Um, now, um, what I'd like to demonstrate is um, Debian Linux. Um, installed and running on this uh, system so let's uh, boot it up from that's the screen, serial console screen let's press the on button which is on the desktop board come on. oh come on come on There we go. Boot to new boot. That's directly off the SD card. Off it goes. I think now I've set this in the script file to 1024 sub by 768. Here we've got a USB hub, four port USB hub, mouse, keyboard. Let's have a look at here. Where have we got up to? Starting Wings Display Manager, WDM. It's nice and low. I think, um, please, okay, so VJ1024 by 768, which you've got set up on here. So, r oh, not, uh, please ignore the fact that I'm typing per assessor uh, so, so, r oh, r here. <laughs> Validating, off we go. All right. So, uh, mouse at the bottom of the screen. Bring up a window. Uh, fire. Fox background, Libra office in the background. By the way, do please apologize for the uh, um, thing I am. This is a work in progress. Please ignore the wires. <laughs> yeah, ice weasel. Oh, uh, cancel that. Yes, cancel that. Google up there, where is oh, hey LibreOffice? Okay, blah blah blah. Text, blah blah blah. File. Google in the background. File, new spreadsheet. Fifty-five. Hello. Ah, uh, usual stuff. All right. So uh, there's LibreOffice there. And Google, yay! All right, so that is through um, wired Ethernet. My apologies for the, uh, the weird state of that. Um, so we've got um, on here. You can see there's the Ethernet connector. That's just using its DHCP out of my very slow local um, uh, internet connection. So yeah, um, there you go. Um, it works. <laughs> All right. Now. Um, 
here we've put two gigabytes of memory on that's a foot um two gigabytes of memory um on this uh, um, a20 board um these will come with rails this will uh, be in its own uh, uh metal shielded case um and you'll be able to push a button on the side here have i got any around no i haven't um i've sent them off to the I sent them off to the crowdfunding people for them to do reviews of it. Um, so yeah, power management, Ethernet, two gates of memory, dual core processor with uh, 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 1 1.0 gigahertz, but you can overclock it if you're careful. Um, on here there is a um, header. This will be replaced. This one here has 20 pins. It will be replaced by a larger one with two millimeter pitch pins. This um, uh, 1.27 mil is way too small. Um, so there will be for educational purposes and experimentation. And there will be SPI, I squared C, um, a couple of GPIO pins, PWM, uh, external interrupt, um, two quantity two, and so on and so on. Here is the Yamaha 68 identification EEPROM which when we get round to writing the software and the kernels and stuff and blah blah this will um, detect that um, and go oh uh, uh, well, this is a micro desktop board therefore it must have um, a VGA output and blah, blah blah I'll just load the device device drivers for that so these cards will be adapted you know basically adaptable um, to the circumstances of the things they're plugged into also present on here is not just on not only the VGA converter which only goes up to um, 1 to 80 by 800 officially um, in the standard but there is a HDMI output that one <laughs> that's USB on the go HDMI output um, which will go up to 1920 by 1080 at 60 frames a second no problem including audio um, second micro SD card slot on here um, typically you could use it for whatever you want but typically it would be for applications and operating systems there is also 4 gig NAN flash underneath here let me see if I'll show you another board there we go yeah um, so yeah 4 gig NAN flash um, single one on there um, anything this one's probably just the one gig round version um, and uh, micro USB on the go which um, so actually there are three uh, USB uh, ports on this on this uh, device one here and then two on the Yoma 68 connector um, yeah I think that's um, oh, oh yes um, and obviously there's the UART on here as well which you can reuse um, as GPIO pins, that's part of the standard. So there's quite a lot um, uh, to be getting on with. Um, power um, anywhere between 7 and 21, 7 to 21 volts. Officially, this is a 4 amp, that's why that um, inductor is so big. Officially, this is a 4 amp uh, 5 volt power supply um, up to that, but please don't use it up to that amount. Um, not unless you're just calling and take the case off. If you use it to within the specification, you know, um, by by using this connector, if you keep to within the specification, it'll be absolutely um, uh, fine. You'll be able to keep it inside the, um, the case, which are uh, absolutely awesome. This particular crowdfunding campaign a company I found, they're going to get a. It's very exciting. A wooden case made up for this. It'll look absolutely awesome. So it's really exciting. Really looking forward to it. Okay. Um, Thank you very much for listening.